Motorways are statistically the safest roads in the UK and are designed to help traffic travel faster to their destination. However, the fast moving flow of traffic and multiple lanes can take a little time to get used to for a new driver. The high speeds used on a motorway will mean that the driver must be alert and the car must be in good condition, as if there is an incident it will often be serious and involve many vehicles. This video will show how we should drive on a motorway so that we can travel quickly and safely to our destination. If you've recently passed your driving test and have never driven on a motorway before, then consider bringing along a more experienced driver for reassurance. It's a good idea to plan your journey beforehand. Look how far it is, which junctions you will be using and where you can stop for a break. Satnav systems are great, but what would you do if it failed mid-journey? Have some kind of backup such as a smartphone or road atlas. Your car will be driving at high speed for some time, so it's worth checking your fluid levels under the bonnet and tyre pressures as it would be very inconvenient and possibly dangerous to break down on the motorway. Now that we're ready, let's go. If you have used a dual carriageway before, then you will probably be familiar with slip roads. We should keep to the left lane, unless overtaking, and use plenty of engine power to build up speed. The traffic on the motorway has priority so we must adjust our speed to merge into the traffic flow. Sometimes other traffic might change their road position or speed up to help us merge in, but we can't rely on this happening as it is at the other driver's discretion. So once the motorway is in view, we will need to check over our right shoulder for traffic that is not yet visible in our mirrors, signal right, and decide where to merge smoothly into the traffic flow. There may be two, three or four lanes on the motorway depending on how much traffic it needs to carry. We shouldn't think of the lanes as slow and fast but instead that we should always keep to the left lane for normal driving. The other lane or lanes should only be used when overtaking and then once we have finished our overtake we should return to the left lane. If we stay in the middle or outer lanes when unnecessary we will impede traffic flow and annoy other drivers that wish to overtake us. Since 2013 drivers that hog the middle lane can be fined £100 and given three penalty points on their licence so keep to the left when possible. With traffic travelling at high speed, we will need to allow plenty of space in front in case we need to stop in an emergency. Some motorways have large chevrons painted onto the road to help us judge the correct following distance. But if there are none visible, we should remember the two second rule. This suggests that if we keep a two second gap to the vehicle in front, this will give us time enough to react if the other vehicle suddenly slows down. To check the gap, choose a fixed point such as a post or bridge and when the car in front passes it, start counting. If we can count to at least two before we reach the same fixed point, then the gap is sufficient. But if we reach the point first, then drop back a little and try again. We also try to keep our car in a diagonal position to nearby traffic in other lanes, as driving alongside other vehicles could put us in danger. This is because the other car might need to change lanes without warning and hit our car, which would be very dangerous at motorway speeds. 
When needed, we should adjust our speed to reduce the time we are overlapping nearby traffic and minimise this danger. Mirror checks are a very important part of motorway driving. Even when maintaining a steady speed on a quiet motorway, we should regularly check our mirrors to see where the traffic is behind us. This would keep us aware of the position of other vehicles in case we need to avoid another car's erratic driving and also allow us to spot an approaching emergency vehicle long before we could hear their sirens. The same rules as normal driving still apply on a motorway, so if we need to change our speed or road position, we should check our mirrors and signal, if needed, beforehand. It is worth mentioning that some other drivers drive well above the speed limit or even overtake on the left, so we should always check it safe with our mirrors before making a decision. As a car driver, the national speed limit for us on a motorway is usually 70 miles per hour, but there are sometimes exceptions to this. Occasionally there are lower limits, such as at roadworks, so we will need to keep a lookout for extra road signs and obey them when needed. Speeding is both dangerous and illegal, and since many motorways now have speed cameras, it could get very expensive if we drive too fast on a regular basis. Some smart motorways have variable speed limits on overhead gantries. We must obey these temporary speed limits as they are there to help ease the traffic flow at busy times and we would be committing an offence if we ignored them. We will often need to overtake slower traffic on a motorway, but since changing lanes carelessly could be dangerous, we always use the mirror signal manoeuvre routine. So as we approach the slower vehicle, we check our mirrors to assess the speed and position of other traffic around us. Then once we are sure there is a safe gap in the other lane, we signal to warn others of our intention, then finally steer the car to the new lane accelerate past the slower vehicle and then once we have finished overtaking we would use the mirrors and signals again to safely return to the left lane. If we are on a busy motorway and need to overtake further traffic we can move into lanes 3 and 4 when needed. Just follow the same MSM routine every time a lane change is required. Sometimes the traffic flow is heavy and it is difficult to change lanes so we will need to be patient when the motorway is busy. Research has found that around 20% of accidents on motorways are caused by fatigue as driving can become monotonous. If we drive when tired, our response to an emergency will be much slower and this will make it much easier to have an accident. When driving on a long journey, we should make sure we take a 15 minute break at least every two hours, so we are always alert. If you should start to feel drowsy, open a window until you reach the next service area. Unless it's an emergency, we can't stop on the hard shoulder, as this is an offence. If we have a problem with our car, and we have to stop on the motorway, then we should stop on the hard shoulder. Never stop in the driving lanes, as there is a high risk of being hit by approaching traffic. Their high speed will give them very little time to react. Once we have stopped, turn on the car's hazard lights and get out of the car. It is safest to wait on the verge until help arrives, as our car may be hit by moving traffic. When we need to leave the motorway, we will need to plan well in advance. The junction signs will give us plenty of warning, so as soon as we see that we are approaching our exit, 
we should finish any overtaking and move over to the left lane. There will be a small sign with three lines to show when we are within 300 yards of the exit and similar signs at 200 and 100 yards. Once we reach the exit slip road, if it's needed, we should signal to other traffic that we intend to leave the motorway. Unless the traffic is slow ahead, we should maintain our speed until we have entered the slip road, as slowing down too early would impede the traffic flow. Brake smoothly once we are on the slip road, as there will usually be a junction or bend ahead. After driving at high speed on the motorway, our perception of speed can be altered, so we should keep checking our speedometer until our judgment has returned to normal. So remember to plan your route beforehand, use the correct lane, overtake safely and take regular breaks. If you found this video interesting then please click like and subscribe to our channel as it really helps other people find our videos. Thanks for watching.